Over the last several weeks, speaking of being outside, we've shown you the progression of our very own garden right here at our station. This week, with the help of Garden IQ and Johnson, we talk about how to take care of those pests that invade your garden. Now that we've planted everything, we've gotten a lot of rainfall, Rhett. Mm -hmm. And the one thing you're going to have to watch now is uh, uh, what to do about plants as far as fungicide and pesticide. Right. What are we seeing on this one right here to start with? So typically what you'll see on your squash and zucchini is you'll see a little bit of uh, whiteness on the top of the leaves and sometimes on the underside. And uh, with all the rain, that could be a little bit of powdery mildew, uh, which is a fungus that grows a lot on squash and zucchini and different things like that. So you always need to be looking out for that. And How good, does that affect the plant now? Um, so it'll take energy away from it, and initially, like a fungus does, it'll rot the leaf and things like that, so the leaf won't be able to photosynthesize and make uh, food for itself and in turn won't produce any fruit. And then how do you take care of that now? Yeah, so we got a copper fungicide right in front of you. Um, it's an organic product for organic gardening, and so you'll just mix that up in a spray bottle or, or a pump sprayer, and then you'll just spray it just anywhere all over the plant on the top and underside of the leaves to help control that. Do you need to see that white powdery stuff to spray or just do you do it anyway? Typically you'd want to maybe see some of the problem before. You don't want to just go spraying pesticides anytime you want just because uh, it's a little bit bad for the environment of course. So typically you want to see the pest before you, uh, especially with organic uh, products, they're not as much of a preventative. You want to see the pest. All right, it. when you mentioned pests, what a, because it's so wet, we're not seeing a lot of pests right now. Right, yeah. Uh, you might still see a little bit of aphids on some things, but we're still getting some cool nights, so where they're, they're really not producing. Um, but uh, So you'll see aphids just about on any plants that you have in your garden. So you'll want to check on the underside of leaves for any insects and things like that as well. And what do you use to take so care we have of a, that? Yeah, we have a bunch of different products. you got a three-in-one right in front of you. That's also a fungicide and an insecticide, as well as a miticide. But we also have like neem oil, which most people are familiar with. And then we have a couple other different products as well that you can use to treat a variety of different bugs. And that's just a mixture of water and a spray can? Yep, typically, yeah, they're one to two ounces of the product per gallon of water. But of course, you'll want to read the label on the back and it'll tell you all the mixing instructions. Yeah, so this, uh, this is the Pyganic product and this is probably our strongest that we have. And so if you're not seeing results with any of these other insecticides, you'll probably want to move something like this and this will really uh, help battle your problem. This is another three-in-one garden spray by the Safer brand, and uh, this is what they call a ready-to-use because it's in a spray bottle already mixed up, so you don't have to do any mixing. This is great for typically indoor plants, but you can use it on anything. Um, but this is, like I said, a three-in-one, so it'll do insects, mites, and fungus as well. And is there a, is, how much do you spray on there to, to cover it, I guess? Yeah, coat so it? you want to you wanna spray all over the leaves on the top and underside, just a little bit to the point of runoff. So you don't want it just flowing off the plant, but you want to make sure you get it evenly covered. And it's all organic. It's all organic, <laughs> yes, sir. And so with the organic versus the non-organic, is um, they don't persist in the environment as much, and they'll uh, generally not get into water streams and other things like that. Brett, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll see you next time.